Hello everyone. This is Amdi Mahfuz Rahman. Welcome to my tutorial. So Oracle Report Builder tutorial. <coughs> Today we'll learn or you will learn about uh, Oracle Forms, Oracle Reports Builder and how to create parameter in Oracle Reports. Uh, by parameter we will we can see the <coughs> unique dip, uh, unique ids information unique source information at, uh, actually parameter is, is uh, user parameter is uh, data model object that you create to hold a value that users can change at runtime and there is a uh, three options you can use parameter in any query uh, you can restrict one is a uh, restrict values in the where clause and substitute any part of the select statement and substitute a single column or expression in the select list so today we will learn about parameter and its uh, uh, activities or characteristics in this forms in this report builder I have to create a forms layered wizard at first and then go to the next and create both web and paper layout then go to the next and I just select group above uh, style and then select next and this is SQL query <coughs> from which we will uh, source our data from a database and this SQL query just next and then data source definition here we would like to build a query just click to the query builder and then connect to database HR HR and the password is HR also and is the what database name is WordCL then click connect my database is uh, already connected and uh, after this the, uh, the database will show you the all the tables and co uh, tables information synonyms and uh, as well as view uh, I would like to create a employees information database there is the table employees select it and then include and then close it here is I would like to select employee ID and then his last name and job ID and salary and department ID and then OK as we have selected the uh, group above I would like to group the department ID group and then next and then uh, take all the displayed and uh, all the table all the fields in this field field displayed fields and then go to the next option and I would like to see the salary sum and uh, nothing else then go to the next option the next and just select a template uh, whatever you want I would like to select this wine and then go to the next option and then finish uh, I think uh, the report wizard will create a reports which is based in my SQL query which is based in the report wizard and after this we'll we'll see that how we can use parameter in this report builder in runtime at runtime it will take some time because my report will is not responding is some problem with this it's okay just wait for some while okay this is uh, my report in uh, we can uh, runtime use parameter so for using parameter we would like to go to the data model uh, data model layout just click there the data model will show you the data models uh, situation and after this we would click to the Q1 this is the data model starting point and then double click here uh, after double clicking uh, this will show the qu SQL, SQL query statement here we will like to use our parameter as we uh, I have told uh, uh, beginning of my tutorial that parameter will take three uh, three types of references the restrict values in wire clause I would like to use wire clause W H R E where where department department ID equal to I would like to uh, give a parameter name just before write down the parameter name take colon 
and then write down any kind of parameter I would like to write P1 it's my parameter name and then OK and then OK now I would like to run this run this uh, our report builder in runtime just click there run paper layout this is the runtime parameter form actually before this we are uh, before this we, s we have seen the, that the uh, the reports will shows the all the information all the department information now I'd like to see only the 10 department ID write down 10 and then enter the, the reports will show only the department ID 10 numbers information this is my this is the user parameter and now I would like to use another that is 20 and then enter and the, it is the runtime report will show me the department 20's information now I'd like to create a um, create the parameters uh, list for creating parameter list you have to go to the tools option tool menu and then go to the parameter form builder click to the parameter builder and this is the parameter form builders information p1 p1 and then ok click ok and after this the parameter will show you this is the report parameter wizard here you can edit the report parameters uh, edit the names uh, I'd like to I'd like to change the parameters color as as give a shadow and I'd like to also change its color its uh, font color that would be red and also this if you would like to change the parameters prompt you can also change it by selecting this and then mm, then write down your parameter names and now I would like to create a parameter list this is the most important thing would would not like to enter a number would like to select a number in a list from a list just select it and go to the its property palette by clicking F4 from your keyboard after this it will show the property in a specter of this report parameters here here we have uh, got some information that is um, general information is name parameter name pf underscore p1 comments there is no comments source is p1 and the parameters data type is character now I'd like to select it's not character because uh, we know that our department number is, is a number data type so s just select the data type data and then its width is I'd like to increase 60 and then list of values in our forms filter we have all uh, we have also created some list item here but in he but here parameter list of values will come from uh, select statement or static values we would like to select static uh, select statement here i would like to write down select distinct all the distinct uh, because there is uh, there is a uh, one department which is uh, there is no department of employees uh, maybe culture employees who, which have who have no department id for this reason we would like to select distinct distinct department id from employees where department department id is not null it's not null just write this and then okay if your there is a department uh, in uh, distinct 
D part P. I have just missed a letter that is T department and then okay if your syntax syntax is not correct that it will show you you have some error and then mm. okay select distinct department ID there is also less underscore department underscore ID and then okay the data type of the parameter does not match the data type of its source column okay source column data type is oh, is number select select distinct CT distinct department ID where department ID is not null select distinct department ID where department ID is not null then ok select distinct department ID shit from employees then ok okay just close it and now see the changes run your rep uh, report builder here here enter value for parameter here there is a list item already created and its initial value shows that it's 10 if you would like to change it your initial value then you can also change the list item from uh, the select in, uh, the query builder and then select the 10 15 and then click here your report builder builder will run only the department ID 15's information so this is the user parameter and uh, this is the most important thing for our report builder as uh, sometimes we only need different only one items one department information so that you can use this parameter and I would like to say uh, I'd like to see the department number 19's information then enter to also show the the report is progresses we also see department 90 as the employee ID 100 101 102 and that total is 58,000 salary and then close it this is how to use parameter if you'd like to change your parameter or or uh, write or query or anything you can select it you can go to this option and then select your parameter and by this parameter you can <coughs> show your report you can run your report I think you will understand about uh, re Oracle reports builders parameter uses you can use parameters in your report builder for run runtime this is the most important thing uh, what I have shown you thanks for watching and subscribe my channel and stay with me stay with Oracle database stay connected